Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Thank you all so much for tuning in. It's my pleasure to be making these videos for you ladies and gentlemen. And in today's episode, we're going to be taking a closer look at the newest release by the company Zoologist. And this one is called Squid, so make sure to stay tuned. Before I begin the video, I do want to disclose that this product was sent to me for review by the company, but as always, all opinions will remain my own. And this is something that I do with every single video. When I get a product for review, I always make sure to disclose that for you, ladies and gentlemen. I also want to encourage you, if you are new to this channel, please support this channel and what I've been doing for the past seven years by clicking on that red subscribe button. But please wait until the end of the video so that I can provide value first. And also, thanks to the generosity of Victor Wong and the Zoologist brand, there will be a giveaway attached to this video and it's going to be for five zoologist samples including the new one squid all you need to do to enter the giveaway is just leave a comment down below letting me know which zoologist fragrance are you the most interested in trying so this one brand new release 2019 the perfumer for this one is celine barrel and she has done fragrances for coach and joe malone and a number of other fragrance houses and this is a house that clearly i have a lot of experience with i've been exploring their fragrances for many many years now long before other members of the community have even joined the community and I'm really proud of Victor Wong for really pursuing his passion and creating fragrances that maybe in the beginning were a bit unapologetic but a little further down the line they became a little bit more accessible and easier to wear and I certainly think that that's the case with this fragrance right here and so that's one of the reasons why I was really curious and excited to try this one because I recall hearing people talking about it online through text of course and they were discussing how this is one of the easier uh, fragrances to wear and of course I looked up the notes and there's musk pink pepper there's an ink note in there and so that sort of gave it away that it was squid that was the animal of inquiry here and so for those of you who are new to zoologist offerings basically what this company does is they create fragrances that are inspired by different animals hence the name zoologist which is uh you know one who studies animals and the fragrances are not intended necessarily to smell like animals but there are fragrances that are inspired by the habitats in which these animals live and so i remember bat being a very cavernous feel i had a soil tincture note in there uh, of course panda contains the note of bamboo or at least they used to in a much stronger concentration before it was reformulated and of course bat is one of those uh, fragrances that is on the chopping block so to speak because it is being discontinued regretfully it's an award-winning fragrance and i'm very proud to have a bottle but today we're going to be talking about squid i'm very excited to tell you what i think of the smell let's start things off by taking a very quick and close look at the presentation so the box for this fragrance has some limited edition artwork that features a graphic of a ship in the waves here, and it also has some quotes by popular and well-known authors. When you take the sleeve off, you will see the box here just has the label of the fragrance here in the front, says Squid. It is an extract de parfum concentration, so it's heavily concentrated, and uh, this aspect of it reminds me of the spine of a book. And then you also have the ingredients written on the back. Now the box has a magnetic flap, so you can open it up just like this. On the right hand side is a silhouette in which the bottle rests. And then on the left here, if you would like to pause your screen, is a description on the fragrance itself. It has a little narrative, which I think is pretty cool. I always enjoy reading those. And then at the very bottom, you will see the notes contained in the fragrance. The bottle for this one is quite nice too. I love the artwork on the front and keep in mind that the juice inside is a very dark blue color. So this is one that I probably wouldn't recommend spraying on clothes. Now the cap does not click into place, but it is a snug fit. So you can pick this one up from the cap. The distribution on the atomizer is nice and wide. Let's continue with the smell. So as soon as this fragrance opens up, the first thing that I notice about it is that it has an aquatic overtone. As a matter of fact, it's not just an overtone, it's a mid-tone, it's an undertone. It's an aquatic presence that I get throughout the entire duration and longevity of the scent. So this one definitely has a salty nature to it, and that's pretty much what I mean. It does smell salty in the opening, and even as it starts to dry down, although it starts getting a little bit warmer in the dry down because of the incense and the resins that are used in here, uh, that saltiness never seems to go away. And this is something new that I haven't smelled before from a zoologist fragrance. As a matter of fact, I'm kind of reminded of one of my previous videos that I had published on the channel and it was top 10 aquatic fragrances. And the number one and two fragrance on that list were a Wet Stone by Amorud and Healy Salmaron respectively. This is a fragrance that sort of fits within those same guidelines in the sense that it's definitely beachy and aquatic and salty without of course smelling like suntan lotion. And I think perhaps the most unique aspect 
about this one is the fact that it contains ink. So I think had it been solely for that aquatic nuance, any number of different, you know, marine animals could have been slapped on the label, but it was the inclusion of that uh, ink note or a cord in here that really allows it to pertain exclusively to this animal. Now, in terms of that ink note, I think it's less a fantasy note and more a combination of different ingredients that would create that overall ink smell. And I got to be honest with you guys, when I first tried this one, I was a little apprehensive because a part of me kind of expected it to smell like Ancre Noir by Lalique. Uh, part of me also expected it to sort of smell like Sycamore by Chanel. Two fragrances, or I should say the former, is one that is said to smell like the ink from a pen. And so I couldn't really imagine that type of fragrance adulterated in the sense that, you know, in the literal sense that there's water added to it. And so Ancre Noir Sport is perhaps the only fragrance that came to mind, but I'm really happy that this fragrance is interpreted in such a way that it has this sort of inky note without smelling metallic at all. And that was another concern that I had because some metallic smelling fragrances I absolutely cannot stand. But in the case of this one, it, nothing about it smells metallic. It smells inky, it smells salty. There's an undercurrent of musk in there that I really appreciate. And overall, I think this fragrance really stands out against other fragrances within this classification or olfactory family, simply because of the incense and the warmth that is portrayed in here. There are certainly some sweet resins. I'm not entirely sure if it's benzoin or labdanum or galbanum or what, but there's something in here that gives it depth and character, which I really appreciate about this fragrance. All in all, I do find this to be one of the more wearable zoologist fragrances. And if I can be honest with you guys, I think the last three, four, or five releases from the company have been fairly wearable, with the exception, of course, of T-Rex. And I also think that there's a subconscious association between the fragrances smelling like animals or animal habitats and them being hard to wear. And I certainly think that that's the case with a lot of them like Beaver and T-Rex and, of course, uh, bat to a certain degree, but I think this one is incredibly wearable. Had this been released in a separate bottle without any mention of a marine animal and it would it were just marketed as an aquatic fragrance, people would buy it no questions asked. And so I think it is a wonderful scent. I think there is a level of uniqueness to it, which I really do appreciate. And I am very fortunate to have a bottle in my collection. And this is one that I will certainly be wearing a lot more in the summertime but I won't be spraying it on clothes because uh, of the blue juice inside. So there's this fear that it's going to stain my clothing and I have a feeling it would. But uh, all in all, thanks for watching. Let's go ahead and finish things off with my overall assessment. So first up, in terms of the uniqueness and the overall smell, it is a unique fragrance because I can't quite compare it to any other fragrance that I've tried. The only ones that come quite close are like Salmaran by Healy, but even that's a little bit too salty, too fishy too aquatic compared to this one. Whetstone is a bit more pleasant, but this one has a warmth to it that I really can't compare to any other fragrance. Although there are other fragrances that would fit within the genre that this could ultimately be compared to, but in terms of it being an identical composition, this one really does stand out. And so for that reason, I'm happy to have it in my collection. In terms of the overall smell, I think it is a pleasant smell. You must be a fan of the uh, salty, summery, uh, aquatic type fragrances to really enjoy this one. But if there's any thought or persuasion that that ink note might potentially turn you off, I don't think it's in here to that strength or that degree that it's going to be off-putting. I actually think it's very likable. And so give it a shot and you'll see what I mean. In terms of longevity, I got seven plus hours from this one. I got about an hour and a half to two hours of projection, but it didn't really become a skin scent until about the six to six and a half hour mark. So the performance on this one is quite good. In terms of the versatility on this one, I think it's incredibly versatile. I can even see myself wearing this in the fall as a sort of buffer, uh, you know, before I fully assimilate to the uh, um, the autumnal weather, but I don't think that this one could be worn in the winter time. Not that it won't be able to handle the harsh climate conditions of the winter, but I don't think the smell is evocative of the winter at all. But all three other seasons, I think this one would do just fine. In terms of it being a unisex scent, I think it is. Of course, all fragrances are unisex, but there's nothing in here that is traditionally explicitly masculine or feminine. And I do think that this one caters towards somebody who's a bit more mature in terms of like designer level aquatic fragrances. Of course, there's like Aqua de Jo. This one is nowhere near that in terms of a scent profile. And so I would probably recommend this to somebody who's a bit more of a perfume lover, a bit more of a connoisseur, not somebody who's wearing 
wearing it for a functional reason, let's say, although I do find this one to be functional. In terms of the presentation, I love this one, the limited edition artwork. I always like the animals and how he uh, dresses them up with his graphic design team. And my final verdict on this one is I love this scent. I really do. It is one of the best zoologists released to date. I'm really enjoying the way that this one smells. It has that ambery warmth underneath without necessarily smelling like amber. It has a salty overtone. It has that fantasy note or a chord weaved in there very nicely. And this is one that if you are in stores, I would highly urge you try first. Make it one of your top three to check out. And of course, I would have to know your taste a little bit better to make the recommendation on the other two. But I think that this one is pretty versatile in the regard that it will be enjoyed by many. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate your viewership. That was my review of Squid by Zoologist. Again, if you are new to this channel and you did take something of value from this video, I would really appreciate the support. It's easy and it's free. All you need to do is click that red subscribe button in the corner. And this way, whenever I do upload future fragrance related content, it will get delivered straight to your feed. You never need to worry about missing any of my future videos. And of course, that includes fragrance reviews just like this, giveaways, unboxings, top 10, interview special guests and a whole lot more thanks for watching i love you guys and we'll see you in the next episode bye